And now that we're in a new month into the year, how are your fitness goals going? It's never too late to get on track. And joining us now is Jada Perry. She's a personal trainer and owner of a new gym in North Charlotte. Good morning, good Jada. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Doing good. Yeah, How are you? I'm good. A little nervous, but I'm good. Yeah. It's all right, because we're talking about an important topic today. Absolutely, absolutely. Fitness and health goals. So yes. let's just start off with diet and exercise. If people are trying to get healthy, which is the most important element? Uh, when it comes to diet and exercise, they're both super important when it comes to optimal health. Um, a great diet won't... Uh, take over uh, an, an active lifestyle. And the same thing, vice versa, um, exercise won't necessarily um, take over uh, a bad diet. So they both are super important when it comes to getting in shape or in living healthy. Uh, you can't outwork a bad diet, so. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's a good one right there. You can't outwork can't a bad, bad diet. diet. So what are the, ba the biggest barriers that people face when they're trying to get on track and get healthy? Uh, I feel like the biggest barriers that people do face is just finding somewhere to start, um, staying consistent and setting small goals and just remaining disciplined um, and ultimately having fun. So Yes. Yeah, consistency, I feel like, is the biggest thing when it comes to people reaching their goals. Uh, just got to stay at it, you know, one day at a time. We hear consistency is key all the time, but Sorry. what does that really look like? When will people uh, start really seeing results? Um, ideally, if you're working out about three to four times a week, um, including a great diet as well, uh, you'll start to see results within 60 to 90 days, ideally for a total transformation, and this is with all body types. Um, so just staying consistent with working out, making sure you're attacking your diet, whether at a caloric deficit if you're on a weight loss, um, and making sure you're in that progressive overload if you are in a uh, muscle gain. So you're staying consistent with those on top of everything, I feel like. A good 60 to 90 days is a great transformation. Yeah, consistency with the diet and the exercise, of course. Both of them. <laughs> so what advice do you have for people who maybe have been struggling to kickstart some of their health goals this year? Uh, my advice to everyone who is looking to kickstart their journey is to, for one, um, just set a goal. Set one goal and uh, achieve that goal. Celebrate small wins, um, create a balance, and have fun. Ultimately, if you're not having fun, then what are we doing it for? So, you know, don't be so hard on yourself. Um, and again, celebrate every every small win. So. I like that, small wins. What do, what do small wins look like? Small wins could be, you know, if you're a Starbucks person every morning and you're like, you know, I gotta really get away from those frappes, today I'm not gonna have one. And if you actually say, I'm gonna have some hot tea instead, maybe some herbal tea, that's a small win, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be, uh, compared to anything or anybody else, it's just, you know, what you have going on. So set those goals and achieve them. Yes, you are your own competition. You are. <laughs> and I mentioned earlier that you're a new gym owner here yes. in Charlotte. Congratulations. Thank you. Tell us the details of your grand opening. Uh, so are we having a grand opening February 11th. Um, it'll be from 2 to 5 p.m. Uh, the address is uh, 5734 North Tryon. Uh, we'll have uh, music, live DJ, free food, a couple raffles to give away, and we're just there to celebrate. So just come out, have fun, um, and get to see your new gym.